I want to hear it. Not right now. Yes, now, Dusty Bun. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 love songs in TV shows. It's guy love between two guys. For this list, we'll be looking at times when our favourite television shows got romantic in the form of music. What's your favourite TV love song? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Can You Feel the Love? That's So Raven. Can you feel it? If you're a fan of That's So Raven, then you probably know this tune well. That's because, for a while, it was the only song that Corey's band knew how to play. The show gave Can You Feel the Love a hip-hop makeover and a country rendition. But we're focusing on the OG version today. Everybody knows that when push comes to shove, nothing feels In the third season, Corey and the boys hold auditions to find a new lead singer. When they meet Francesca, Corey certainly feels the love. Next! What? Unfortunately, he's the only one. Luckily, it's Corey's mum to the rescue, as Tanya steps in to save the day, even if it is from behind the curtain. Everybody knows it when push comes to shove. Nothing feels better than feeling the love. Number 9. Somewhere Love Is Waiting For You Schmigadoon. Still upset over her breakup with Josh, Melissa wanders into the woods and meets Maya Menlove. Taking on the archetypal mentor role, he proceeds to lift Melissa's spirits through the song. Somewhere love is waiting for you. The musical result is a combination of Climb Every Mountain from The Sound of Music and Some Enchanted Evening from South Pacific. You'll want to make sure you listen to the lyrics though, as this song isn't really about cheering up Melissa. Rather, it's a witty nod to the subtle homoeroticism occasionally associated with Golden Age musicals. At last the love that was forbidden no longer must be hidden. He is named Mayor Menlove, after all. Mr. Mayor, are you... are you gay? I try to be. Number 8. Fade Into You Nashville. I could just fade into you. From the moment we met Scarlett, we knew that she was talented. Clearly, we weren't the only ones. Teaming up with singer songwriter Gunnar Scott, the pair turn her poetry into song, making a successful music career seem inevitable. In the third episode of season one, they sing Fade Into You, a beautiful country ballad detailing what it's like to be in love. From this moment on, we knew that a love story was in the cards for these two. I wanna melt you, I wanna soak you, I only wanna go when you move. And thanks to this stirring performance, we could already see sparks flying. Number 7. Eternal Flame Lucifer. We got a special guest tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucifer Morningstar! <laughs> you might not think of Lucifer as the singing type, he surprisingly has a devilishly good voice. You also probably wouldn't expect him to be the serenading kind either, but this season 2 instance proves otherwise. I don't wanna lose this feeling. Oh. Lucifer cleverly uses the guise of a romantic song to reconcile with Chloe, while also helping catch their suspect. He teases her by telling the crowd that the song is dedicated to someone else, but we all know better. It's both funny and sweet, so much so that Chloe can't stay mad at him. And with Tom Ellis's smooth voice, we don't blame her. Number 6. Maiden Wine Star Trek The Original Series when you think of Star Trek, you don't necessarily think of singers, especially Captain Spock. And while Spock doesn't exactly sing out of his own free will, he's surprisingly good at it. Be watchful of young men in their velvet prime. Deeply they'll swallow 
from your finest kegs. The song Maiden Wine, about how to treat a woman, was actually composed by Leonard Nimoy. Yep, unless you're a hardcore fan, you might not be aware that the actor delved into the music world as well. In the episode, Spock is forced to sing the number while under the Platonian's control. Everything about it is uncharacteristic for the part Vulcan, but it stands as a truly lovely moment. <laughs> Number 5. The Best – Shit's Creek Serenading someone in public can be very hit and miss, especially when that someone is as cynical as David Rose. Okay, this was not my idea. However, as Patrick plays a stripped-down acoustic version of Tina Turner's The Best, it's clear that David is smitten. Cause you're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone ever Dan Levy chose the song due to its emotional lyrics that often get overlooked as a result of its up-tempo rhythm. And I knew as soon as I heard it, because it didn't change at all, that what he had done with that song was extraordinary. He then let actor Noah Reed handle the composition. The end result was one of the most romantic moments of the entire series. Of course, it was just as sweet and hilarious when David returned the gesture in grand style. You know people can see you, right? You're simply the best! Number 4. Holy. Love, Victor. Hey, it's karaoke time! The first one of the night is Victor and Raheem. What did you do? Sorry, not sorry. Come on. When Rahim was introduced in season 2 of this teen dramedy, it didn't take long for fans to ship him and Victor. This was only cemented by their duet of Justin Bieber's Holy during the bar's karaoke night. Turns out the pair are stunning singers and complement each other in many ways. Oh God, run into the altar like a drag star. It's during the song that the boys seem to realize that there might be more than just friendship between them. It's enough to make you forget about Victor's former boo, Benji, who was also in a band. By the end, we were saying, Benji who? The way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, feel so holy. Number 3. Running Home to You The Flash Can't say how the days will unfold In season 3 of The Flash, a memorable episode sees Barry and Kara put in a musical coma at the hands of the Music Meister. When they awaken, however, Barry has one more song in him. But it's clear now, when you're standing here now I am meant to be wherever you are next to me. And let us tell you, it will pull on your heartstrings and touch even the least sentimental. Written by Pasek and Paul of La La Land fame, Barry sings this moving melody to Iris before proposing to her. It's a romantic proposal that's made even more remarkable thanks to actor Grant Gustin's soulful voice. All I wanna do Come running home to you. Come running home to you. There was no way Iris was turning down this proposal, not after such a special performance. Iris West, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Guy Love, Scrubs. Our guy love. That's all it is. Guy love, he's mine, I'm his. An anthem for all of the bromances out there, this song is considered one of the best from the series' infamous musical episode. It centers around a patient with a tumor that causes her to hear everything through song. It's like I married my best friend, but in a totally manly way. Let's go! However, many fans would have just as easily believed this was how Turk and JD declare their love for one another anyway. The song isn't particularly relevant to the storyline, but it's funny and even kinda sweet. It's got love. Between two guys. No hands. 
It made such an impact that it reappears in future episodes as well. Heck, it's even Turk's ringtone. Many people spend a lifetime searching for a love like this one. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. History is made at night. Smash. Marilyn and Joe sing about a marriage away from the spotlight. One indescribable instant. Crazy ex-girlfriend. A beautiful ballad at a beautiful wedding. The only words you need are I love you. The never-ending story. Stranger Things. We bet everyone believes that Dustin has a girlfriend after this adorable number. There upon a rainbow is the Take a chance on me, The Office. Is there a better way to profess your love than through an ABBA song? That's all I ask of you, Angela. Take a chance. Take a chance. On me. Nothing suits me like a suit. How I met your mother. There's no stronger love than Barney and his suits. It's a truth you can't refute. Nothing suits me like a suit. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, if I didn't have you, the Big Bang Theory. Well, tonight is the anniversary of our first date and I wanted to celebrate it by writing a song for you. We'll admit it. Howard Wolowitz is the last person we expect to find on a list like this. The song Howard penned for the anniversary of his first date with Bernadette is truly romantic. But when a raccoon virus threatens to spoil their special night, he comes up with a plan B. I'd be an atom without a bomb, a dot without the calm, and I'd probably still live with my mom. He and his friends arrive at the hospital to serenade Bernadette through the glass window instead. It's an entertaining, catchy, and adorable song that leaves Bernadette in tears. And, well, we got a little choked up too. I couldn't have imagined how good my life would get from the moment that I met you, Bernadette. After this number, we reckon that Howard could easily claim the title of Romance Ninja. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.